Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Clusterfuck that is, uh, uh, what's the name, like, um, Rizical Kulatraj is Dwarf Fortress, everyone. Welcome. Having fun? I'm okay. Um, last time we left off, we, uh, I can't actually remember what we did. I think pretty much the only thing we did was, uh, fortify things a little bit. That's okay. Um, oh. Oh. I'm a little sleepy today, because as you may know, lately I've been trying to get my sleep schedule back on track. I actually do have it to where I'm going to bed at an almost reasonable hour if I was 90 years old. <laughs> but... Uh, it's slow going, so still a couple more videos where I'm going to be sleepy. And then, of course, I'm going to mess it up immediately again, so. Do I have everything set correctly here? Ah, I have them smoothing the floors on accident, which was not intended. Um, how's all the smoothing down here? Everything's smooth. Here we go. Nope, nothing, no, not totally smooth yet. Yeah, that's pretty much what we did last time, was uh, work on that whole thing. And it will be a confusing road yet to see where we're going to be. Uh, also, the... Uh, we're still back here. Uh, it's going to be difficult. Difficult, difficult lo lo logistics. How's, uh, how's our brick stockpile? I want to freaking work on the god dang tower a little more. There's, uh, what's on blocks? We have 59. So still need to recharge our stock a little bit. This fucking tower is taking forever. Oh boy. Are y'all using weapons or... No, they just got their shields and stuff. I mean, it's reasonable. We don't actually have any weapons yet. Uh, do we have any st steel? We're making pig iron. So I guess we're not done yet. We're, we're still making pig iron. That's okay. That is okay. I'm actually going to remove um, this tile here. That freaking marker. I'm going to remove that tile there. We're going to replace that with a fortification because... Um, I realize the maze can actually go down to that tile. Yeah? Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess. It can go down to there. I mean, it's gonna... No, 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 no. Let me leave it. Because, you know, honestly, the fewer... Uh, vertical spaces there are, the fewer ballistas that I need. Uh. Uh. Oh, did I remember to make this a dog bit? No, I didn't. There. This is now the look. No, not a location. This is now the place where dogs go. All of the dogs now dwell... Oh, wait. No, make sure I'm not taking the freaking donkeys in there. Oh boy. The heck? Oh, okay. The light ones mean that the animal is in the place. It's, it's confusing me. Again, I'm sleepy. We're fine. And then... Come on. That one could go. Okay, and I need to put that donkey back in this file over here. Pile. Yes, this is the animal stockpile. Oh, wait, that's something that actually is in the game, isn't it? God dang it. Uh. Oh, man. I was literally falling asleep a couple minutes ago. Where the fuck's the donkey? There he is. 
donke get back uh, back in the stock uh how's this? i need the steel please all oh, right cuz he's freaking taking taking his sweet time to get them from the caves instead of the convenient stockpile right over there sweet ass time i mean i can how do you set it to take things from places oh heck uh, no give uh no fuck how do you I forget how you set workshops to give for and take from certain places when you can do from the piles and stuff. I mean, I don't want to make a, a charcoal stockpile as a thing. Or a freaking metal bar bin, but without setting it specifically to the point where they have to take the flux from that specific pile, I think they're going to keep taking it from the caves if they have the misguided notion that that is a more convenient option. Also, shout out to this ghost who's just chilling next to the gem stock battle. He hasn't moved from that that tile in the entire, like, ten minutes that we've been here. Oh, hey, also, uh, Dwarf Fortress was updated today. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna update mine yet, because I still need to, uh, I'm going to wait for DF hack to be updated. But well, once that's done, um <sighs> we're going to be able to actually plunder people. So hooray. Our orders are messing up. Why? Sure. Orders. Uh, hematite. Where's that at? Hematite. Conditions. We don't have to, so why is it... Oh, I still have it set to 5 instead of uh, checking. Yeah. I thought I lowered the amount that it was going to check for. But, I mean, the the amount that it was going to produce, but no. I I have it checking for t two hematite, but making five. I'm a dummy. All right, well, that's going to be frustrating. But I don't feel like remaking the entire thing, so... I'll wait until I find another hematite order. It's going to take ages. Okay. Donkey has been slaughtered. Soldier. We have enough soldiers. Sorry, Urbard or Bald or whatever. Uh. <sighs> and there's that whole honeycomb thing, like, what's up with that? Um, make me... no, honeycomb. Press honeycomb. Where's that? Press honey from honeycomb. Make three conditions. Checks for three. It should not be doing such a thing. Why is it doing such a thing? I don't know. Oh, god dang it, I missed the freaking hematite. Fuck. Please, Toadie, give me the option to force them to recheck the thing. Ugh. It's just going to keep occasionally spamming me with 
with the hematite. Also, we don't have enough cages. Are we getting steel now? Are we getting steel? Oh, we have steel ordered. But we're making the pig iron first, apparently. What are you doing? Ah, he's making pots. Cool. And we're allowing fucking hides to rot, even though we have, like, eight different idlers, so probably have to redo the whole hide thing. Honestly, this one's kind of looking like a bonus episode right now. Because I'm kind of not really in an entertaining mood, and things are really slow, nothing entertaining is happening. If it's not, hey, I'm calling it now, if it's not uh, a, uh, Come on. All right, wrong one. I think. Sort by. Sort by. There we go. Nothing. If it's not a bonus episode, that means something interesting happens. Hey, where's uh, tanning? Need to make sure. Ah, right. How about cast? Yeah. Yep, dwarves. I want to make sure I make everybody. Tanners again. That's 85 rather than 50. Okay. And then we have a couple humans, but I can't give them any labors because they're god dang freeloaders. There we go. All done. Should make that a little bit easier, maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. Make sure I'm not cooking any... And make sure I am cooking seeds that I don't need, like uh, fisher berries and rat weeds. Delivery stuff. Um. Ah, not cooking honey. That's okay. Ah, the wheel of industry. The least entertaining thing I could possibly be recording. But hey, when things start raiding, we're gonna get great and great is because it sounds kind of like great undead. Uh, forgotten me, there's what I'm looking for. Still in the tree, he's still in the tree down there. Um, where's the next cavern? I'm not sure what kind of metals we have down here. Um, None that I can see. I mean, we might have some, but he ain't visible to me. Do you think I could go down and try to try to produce some candy? Do you think that'd be possible? Oh, why am I quarrying out in here? All right, because I needed gems. Okay. That janky wall. What is harassing things over here? I don't know. What is this, though? This is a cockatiel. Cool. Dwarf Fortress, a game in which it is impossible to tell the difference between uh, bird and vermin. Just my grand eyes. They are the same. For in the realm of the gods, birds become as insects, or something. Get rid of those ramps. Groom. Groom my moat. 
say that five times fast. Got hunting, combat, um, troll. Troll is fighting who? Spirit Dwarf. My Spirit Dwarf or... Well, we killed it. I can see it's god dang bright cyan blood all over the walls. Miners. <coughs> Smoothers. This poor werewolf. He's been in here for years. Hey, at least if something terrible happens to the fortress, I have a backup plan right there. You know, even if he comes with a caveat, ca 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 caveat, I don't know how to say that. Even if he comes with the drawback of uh, turning into a, a slavering, slobbering, slobbering, is it supposed to be said slobbering? It's spelled with a V. Even if he turns into a monster every month, he's, he's still our plan B. Can't take that away from him. That's his only redeeming feature, is that the fate of the fortress may someday rest upon his shoulders. His monstrous, isolated soldiers, or shoulders. Science says that fewer than three days in solitary confinement can be damaging to a person's psyche. He will be spending infinity years in solitary confinement. <laughs> That's an ad for Vsauce's show. <coughs> Mind bend mind break no mind food my my food for the mind 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 um good learn about the mind what's the show mind candy said it no fuck I don't know, but you know, if I had YouTube Red, I would totally watch it, but I'm not getting YouTube Red anytime soon, because I'm poor. Also, because I don't like the idea of YouTube Red. Even though, you know, it's perfectly, it's perfectly acceptable for a company to be out to try to make money. I, I don't like my companies to try to make money. No, sir. By the way, even though I'm I'm poking fun at things, I actually don't like YouTube Red. It's just no particular reason. I just it it rubs me the wrong way. Even though Amazon and Netflix and everything else, you literally have no alternative other than paying the money. <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm not even talking about Dwarf Fortress stuff. Hey, look at these guys. They're still lethally wounded and unable to move on top of the spikes. I don't know if there's still slugs around them or not. This is a terrible place to live. Everything smells like puke. There's a man, always screaming, begging to be released. There are people, impaled, still alive, on spikes, and it has apparently become some kind of tradition to give them food and water, even though they beg for death. Hey there! Back. Sorry. I was AFK for like 15 minutes, and apparently my dwarves can't even sleep properly without me. So who's who's way too sleepy? Is it this animal dissector? 
It's him. He's very drowsy. He can't even fucking sleep without my presence. Oh, what's this other parasite that's here? It's a snail and a slug. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh... <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah, I left the game simulating for a while. Because, you know, it's just tedious things. I also ordered them to make a couple nest boxes for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and order those to be constructed. Nest box. Go. Never mind. Apparently they just, like, they, they didn't. I guess. Where the fuck did they go? I don't know, but I guess I'll just do them later. Uh, right now, we our military has some new equipment, but I'm going to have to like manually do it. Leather armor. Leather armor. Ten more of these, or, well, eight, eight more of these. Leather armor. Leather armor. Oh. There we go. Leather armor. Leather armor, leather, no, not two more leather armor, it's just one leather armor. <sighs> leather armor and leather armor. Okay, so, now I'm gonna go ahead and make a civilian uniform. Uniform. Uh, oh, and add leather armor to this. Uh, um, uh, 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 name. Civilian. And give it... Leather armor, helms, and large daggers. There we go. Everybody, everybody, everybody will have helms, daggers, and armor. Yeah. Oh, wait. I have to make sure to actually create a couple squads of that. Create a squad. Civilians. Just civilians. Uh, just everybody. Everybody, everybody, everybody. No, it's everybody, everybody. Get up, get up now. Don't, uh, something, something. Don't be shy. People, people, people. Some, oh, heck. Let's repo the genetic opera anyway. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, can, I got rooms for a couple of these. Rooms for a couple of these. Um, new squad. Can I not create another one? Create squad appointed by this leader. I don't know what to, what's up with that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I'm gonna go leave it at, at three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and leave it at three for now. Um. Yeah, so that's 30 dwarves. We'll be entering into the new experimental Everybody Gets a Weapon program. Hooray! We will see if they actually equip themselves. <coughs> Military dwarves are at least getting armor for themselves. And here comes a swarm of people to the leather workers. Hooray! <sighs> ouch, ouch. Do we have steel yet? I want to think that we probably do, right? Hey, steel! Alright. Let's see if we can get some. Well, how many are we going to need? Um, military squad here. Uh, four hammers can make those out of silver. Three, no, three hammers, four axes, two what? What are those, those other ones? Hammer door. Okay, so hammer, axe, 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 spear, hammer, axe, axe, sword. 
spear. So uh, three hammers, four axes, two spears, and one sword. Yeah, that's that adds up. Okay, so I want you to make four silver hammers. Yes, it's hammers, right? God dang it. Military. Those three hammers. Three silver hammers. Four steel axes. Three. No, two steel spears. And a steel sword for one guy. Okay, steel. Silver. Silver. Yes, weapons. Silver. Ka hammers. Hammer, hammer, hammer. War hammer, war hammer, war hammer. And you. Four spears? Four axes, right. Weapons. Silver. I'm not even sure if we'll be able to make that many. Battle axe, battle axe, battle axe, battle axe. We'll go with that for now. Make sure that we've only got, yeah, only three. Oh, all those people up there are the people getting their daggers. I hope that the pickaxes don't conflict with the military thing, though. Um, I'm looking for somebody who is in the program. Drivers, no. Um, you? Heck. Hey, here's one. Yeah, he's got his dagger, he's got his helm, and he's got his armor. Cool! Alright. Marginally more protected. And uh, if we really need to, we can send just a horde of peasants at people. Except these peasants have actual armor on. I mean, not great armor, but armor nonetheless. <clears throat> Do you think if I, like, pull the old deconstruction trick on the humans and elves, it still counts as stolen? Does that even work still? Oh, 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 well, the river is frozen. Oh, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I don't actually know if I want to waste my construction materials on that yet. I mean, it's just a matter of convenience with people avoiding the bridge. Um, where is... What stone blocks? Okay, I'm up to 100 again. So I can start working on the next level of the thing. Oh, well. Gotta wait for this to be done first. Well, no, actually I don't, do I? Technically. Okay. Build the square square. You know, I reference that a lot, but I never actually link it. The square shaped cloud. Turn into a square shaped cloud. Okay. And there. That's everything that I'll need to suspend from that wave. And then, uh, how many of these levels do I have that left? Okay. One, two, three, bang, one, two, three. This will be the last one coming up, and then we can do the throne room, which will be two stories tall, and we'll be done. Yeah, cool. I should probably start using the vault, too, but I'm lazy. Also, we don't see, even seem to have any, like, kobolds around here, so I don't even really have to worry about it. 
I should station a couple dogs over here. Do I have any uh, restraints? Let me see. Restraints. Oh, I forgot to check for uh, mandates when I got back. Yeah, no, we don't have any mis uh, restraints. Uh, mandates. Oh, I see why that first one was so weird. I accidentally made guards. Alright, no, I didn't want to freaking recruit tons of unwilling peasants into being guards. That was not my intention. Who's the guards? The distant flags, I think, is... Um, disband that one. Yes. Okay, yeah, no. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Try that again. I'll give them a minute to put their equipment down, though. Not sure if they're just going to lay it on the floor or if I have some place where they would actually put it. Uh, that's probably long enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, heck, what was I doing? I got distracted for a minute. Ah, well. Uh. <sighs> How are the uh, weapon orders coming? Uh, we're actually almost done. Cool. I got any more steel? Um... can actually make, like, Electrum and stuff. That's cool. What is Electrum made out of? I'll check in a sec. Um, wrong, wrong, wrong menu. No wonder I'm not finding what I'm looking for. I'm looking here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, six more steel. Okay, do you guys, like, are, are you... Getting your steel weapons. Inventory. Iron buckler. They are not. Why not? Why not ye take upon yourselves... Okay, that guy's using his axe. He's got the right idea. What about you? What, are, what is this coating him? Let me get a closer look. Coating of... Te te Telesta's... What? What what is coding Telesta? I gotta find out. I'm never gonna find out. Oh well, whatever. Let me just try to just monkey this back into position. Oh heck, I had to do that first. It's okay. Chill out. I know what I'm doing. Well, I didn't know that the text would change resolution. That's interesting. Okay. Um, close enough. Eh. Eh. Close enough. We're fine. Okay, back to business. Um, right, I was checking. Uh, yep, the Axemen have their... Steel axes. However, nobody else does, maybe. No, 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 right, because I only made the axes and the spears. Dummy, doofus, 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 dummy, dummy, dummy. Okay. That means, um, two steel spears? Steel spear, steel spear, steel... I'll let the next one do the steel sword. Steel. Short sword, yes. I think that's it. Um, management. No, no, not management. Military. Um, okay, so. Ham uh, three hammers, four axes, two spears, one sword. Yes? Yes.
Also gotta finish the goddamn tavern. Oh, idiot. <sighs> Uh, why is this one suspended? Please do that. Those weapons are actually coming out pretty good. People are hauling ass in the well, forging department, unlike pretty much everywhere else. I mean, they're taking forever because I, I, I forced people who aren't skilled to be the forge masters. Oh, uh, how's the smoothing operation? Still underway. Not quite there yet. And then we're gonna have this thing to work with. Uh, oh. I'm gonna go ahead and narrow things down a little bit to uh, right here. Okay. And I've already done that on the other side. Heck. And people would still be able to climb it, though. Well, not on this side. But on this side, there's a little climbable space. We still have a lot of wood. Okay, military is equipped with their weapons. Now, I'm going to go ahead and order them to um, start making armor. Okay. Um, chain mail, probably. Pale metal, rusted metal, uh, shining metal, glowing metal. All these angelic metals that they're spoiling me about. Alright, steel, chain, mail. No, actually, no, those chain, um, mail is just what it is. Uh, mail, steel, mail, shirt, um, 10 for my military. It will be constructed when we have at least 10 bars and 20 coal. Okay. Wait, is that how many it takes? How that's not right. That is not right. That is not correct. Hold on a minute. It does not take a single steel bar to make a freaking shirt. Let me fact check this. I am certain that is not real. Let me Fact checking. All right, that's weapons, um, armor, steel, mail shirt. We'll go ahead and see how much stuff they take there. Uh, we're also running low on charcoal. We're uh, below fifty here. Smells heat and cage. Okay. 
seems like I'll be able to figure it out. Uh, nope, it's still getting more. How much are you gonna take there, buddy? Uh, takes two each. Okay. Let me get that then. Uh, mail shirt. Steel mail shirt. Nine now. Um, conditions, regions, needs at least, uh, 18, I want to say, 18, is it? I think eight, at least 18 bars. Sorry, thought I heard something. And then at least, uh, 20 coal, just in case. Okay, there. So what's up with the charcoal situation? I was just being lazy, I guess. Should I go out of my way to set up complex training schedules for the peasants too? Like training one month of a year? No, because that would seriously mess up the flow of labor. <laughs> if my peasants were off practicing their knife, knife fights. One month of the year. That sounds silly. Also, he finished the uh, armor. For now. I, uh, but by the time he finished it, my population grew by 25%. So, his order is no longer valid. He's going to need to make, like, 50 more. By the time he's done with that, it will be over 150, so... But, you know, eventually I'll stop getting migrants, so. What is up with you? What happened? How did you damage your head? What happened? This is Mason fighting. Punches the Mason. Oh. Got into a goddamn fist fight with a pump operator. What was up with the pump operator? Let me try to find him. Hopefully I only have one. Oh, heck. Which one was it? It was Moses. The bitch just got punched by Moses. Meditate on chaos, yes. Oh, wouldn't that kind of be counterintuitive to trying to grow close to chaos, you know, meditating? So what's up with you? Did you just, like, want to get into a fight? Bored? Interested, 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 satisfied, euphoric, 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 annoyed at the lack of chairs, annoyed after having a drink without using a goblet, uh, satisfied, yeah, there's, it's, it's satisfied after getting into an argument, she's just, literally, she just likes to argue. Like scabro, lead, sunstone, Remy fabric, bolts, um, natural ability. She personally values, uh, looking for her personality, currently less private, currently more rude, currently more fearless, currently more confident. Cur uh, I guess she's drunk. Got into a fist fight. That's cool. Oh, and, and it's winter, so I'm getting the water spam, too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also put more hives down now that I've deconstructed the other ones. Where are the hives? Where hives? Where hive? The most horrifying of transformations. Turns into an entire colony of insects. Hmm. We're actually missing, like, at least two. Where are they? What happened? Why are we missing so many things? I think I'm missing, missing nest boxes. I'm missing some hives. What's up? Am I still missing the nest boxes? No. Okay, I found some. Let me go ahead and uh, 
Put these over here, I guess. Oh, I only have one for some reason. Why? Why? I know that the craft store has finished because it's not anywhere on the list anymore. <sighs> yeah, I'm just missing things for some reason. At least we have one nest box. Because, I mean, I, I have birds around, so like, there's no reason not to produce eggs. Just a tiny bit of extra food. Look at all these stressed out birds and dogs and stuff. How's the dog pet doing? It looks like it would be terrible to be down there. Or very good, depending on your opinion of uh, feral, unsocialized dogs that live in a pit full of their own blood, vomit, and poop. I mean, if, you, if you're that into dogs that even with all of those conditions met, you would still enjoy their presence, then power to you. You have a lot of patience. However, I personally, as a dog person, feel like it would be a very bad place to be down there. Oh, I know what I can do down here. Maybe. I can put a little wall here, right? Right? Not not a wall wall, but uh, fortifications. Okay, now bear with me here. And behind those fortifications... Fucking bees. Yeah? How's that sound, dude? Yeah, man. Just put a bunch of bees behind there. It'll intimidate my enemies. Yeah. That's a good plan. <laughs> I can also put in a door so that I can gather honey from them too. I should really get more hives. Man, I am sleepy. Yeah. So, first I've got... And I think that the amount of statues are increasing here. First I've got this weird statue epidemic. And then I've got mysteriously vanishing nest boxes and hives. What is up, dude? Why are you making statues on an order still? What the fuck is going on? It's this one statue. Who is doing it? That guy. Supposedly. The guy who got punched in the head is supposedly the one making the statue. Maybe that's why I've got so many statues. The bowman is very drowsy. He can't sleep on a, on a, on a bed of spikes. Hey, no. It is the bed of nails that the monks do. Never mind. Please cease making a statue. Just never mind. You, you, you don't make statues anymore. We don't need any more statues. What the fuck? That madman! I need something to do with all these statues now. What do I do with them? I, I guess I better just put them places. Um. 
doesn't really even really matter. Not on the temple though, because that's that's sacred, sacred territory, not to be disturbed. Over thirty petrified. Sixty. Six. Good God! Look at all of these statues. There's over a hundred statues here. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good fucking God. Damn, dude. Holy cow. I, it's just like, this mad artist has been sitting in that one spot after getting struck in the head endlessly. From the void, conjuring statues. He, who knows how many... Oh, no wonder making the stone was taking so long. You freaking turd. I don't even have enough room. Here's the library. Or what's going to be the library. I guess I'll, like, border bookshelves with statues. Because we're that fucking... Oh, what's the word for when somebody, like... Displays needlessly. Needlessly excessive wealth. Like, you know, got them a, a, a gold plated car or something. Uh, what's, what's, what's that called? I guess I can, like, just fucking make a wall of statues around the fortress here. Really intimidate the the adventurers seeking is, is seeking to end our reigns of terrors, our collective reigns of terrors. We'll fool them into thinking that we have over oh, over a hundred soldiers stationed outside across the river. Oh, shoot. This is also a small thing to note. It's not going to... The colors are not going to match. And it's going to take them ages to get this stuff out here. From this day forward, this shall be known as the River of Stone Men, where many travesties shall occur, many slaughters. The men guard passage across the river, forcing unwary refugees to cross a bridge, just a tiny rickety footbridge that some say is cursed with devil magics. And that's the last statues that I'm able to make. Okay. And now this way. Sorry about the keyboard spam. Oh, at least we're making a dent in them. Honestly, I should have probably been investigating this when I noticed that we were making many hundreds of statues. Honestly, half an entire quarry pretty much went to statues. Uh... Oh, Okay, so let's start there. And that's the last statues I can make on that side. So, what do I do now? I've still got like 20 statues. There. They shall guard the passage. Yeah, they'll just, like, be passage guards. Not in such a way that they would obstruct pathing, though, as I have set up there. 
Nope, not construction statues. 126. They guard the werebeast. Put a couple in my, my farms. Pretend they're like underground scarecrows. Nah, because they don't actually fit in there with the farms. Okay. How about his little path markers? The stockpile conveniently blocks exactly where I would want to put them. Oh, wrong one. Statue is what I wanted. I, I forgot that pressing the yes button. Okay, any any anywhere else at all? I guess around the doors of the tavern. Redecorating. I suddenly got a wave of nostalgia for the uh, antique roadshow theme song of all things. Unrelated, I guess. I mean, I, I guess it's like that that sort of genre of show as the same as the remodeling shows. I guess remodeling shows are kind of their own genre, but I mean like that that show, like that kind of show where people are watching others do human things, like remodel their house or trying to sell antiques or visiting a pawn shop and trying to haggle deals. Oh fuck, I can't even put it there. It's completely mundane. Alright, time for the great wave of statue men. And they shall see our great wealth and they shall weep. For they have picked the wrong house. Crawl. Oh, hey, Rauko. Crawl. Crawl, my children. In great waves. This is your trial. They're all hauling like 400 pounds of stone each. At least 400 pounds. Each statue has their place. And yet the dwarves... The dwarves and their mighty hive mind are able to find precisely where each piece of art is meant to go to. How can such a hive mind even produce art? Some scholars wonder. For without individuality... Individuality... Without individuality, how can a creative mind even be sparked? In a place where every identity meshes into a great overmind, how can a single dwarf nurture the necessary facilities to, to uh, facilitate art forms. This has baffled scientists for many generations. Sorry, had to go AFK for a minute. <coughs> Back. Still working on these statues. And uh, how's the smoothing? The smoothening. Hey, we're actually done down there. Alright. Alright. I guess time to order Stage two, which I'm not actually sure what's going to be. Do 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 do
I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I'll stop now. I'm gonna make sure that I get these just as so. Just as so. This would be another place where keyboard controls would be very useful. I mean, no, mouse controls would be very useful, but I'm not actually sure if uh, DF Hack does mouse controls for digging and stuff. Yes, it does. No, no, not, not default anyway. At least it would seem so. I mean, why even bother digging a bridge on that that place? There. Oh man, I am sleepy. And this right here, it ain't helping. It ain't helping at all. Also, I'm kind of conflicted as to whether I would mark this as a bonus episode or not, considering uh, <coughs> I have done some major remodeling with the whole statue scene. If I if I just left it out, if I said, hey, you don't have to watch this episode, it's a bonus episode, uh, people would come back to the series if they're skipping the bonus episodes and be like, what the fuck is with all the stone men? Why does everybody have a dagger now? What happened? Has there been some kind of statue uprising that even the common man must now carry a, a lethal weapon with them? Else the statues spring to death and jump them. In which case, I would whisper, Watch your back. No, well, honestly, because if you're not a dwarf, you're probably not around very many statues. And if you are around statues, they aren't humanoid statues. They're probably like fancy, rich people, swirly statues with the weird curves and the holes in them. And I'm happy to say I do not own any statues. <laughs> Because I live on peasant rations and pure willpower. Most of my anything I have that's professional is a gift. So, take that, bourgeoisie. Oh, heck, this one's confusing because it's actually straight. Oh, I can just break, break sequence there and go for four instead of three. There, finally, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, I gotta do this confusing thing now. Sorry, I was distracted for a sec. So, uh, this is gonna be confusing. Oh, Jesus. Do I, do I dig into the pit, or, oh god, I don't know, oh yeah, it does go into the pit, well, heck me in a hexburg, I guess, I, I guess, I guess we're going in the pit now. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that when we come to it. And where the heck uh, goes there? Goes there, and there. And there. There. 
We'll just, uh, just make a big blood swimming pool down there. Put monsters in there. If we catch any titans, just throw them down there. We're not going to catch any titans, let's be real. Let me just put all our prisoners down there. You know, let them hang out. Even though they then count as invaders again, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. Cook cancels meal. Uh, we're out of food, or... Oh! Wait. Oh! Okay, when did that happen? Whatever. Weird. Also, we forgot to smooth this one. Or I forgot to smooth this one. Sorry for trying to avert blame. I will have to smooth the walls down here, too, though, if, if I'm going to make a, a big swimming pool out of that. Or I guess I actually don't have to smooth most of it. Sorry, was AFK for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode as soon as I'm sure everything here is sorted. Uh, big ol' moat. Check. Statue situation. Oh my god. Yeah, I actually just uh, had to go confirm for a second. I do need to go. Um, so. Make sure nothing is suspended here. Yeah, it's just taking a bit. Let me look at a couple of these statues first. Um, lar oh. Finally, just crafted statue of Zas Steel Boulders, the deity of metals. Yeah, the metal deity. Okay. Uh, designed an image of dwarves. Okay. The traveling dwarves, but still just dwarves. A dwarf. Yeah, most of these are humanoids, man. Yeah, damage of dwarves. Hell yeah, dude. Looks like a big old army of gods and dwarves and big dwarves and important dwarves and dwarves traveling places, dwarves doing things, dwarves crafting artifacts, dwarves killing things, dwarves getting killed. This is a big old dwarf wall. It's just going to be a wall of dwarven depictions. Probably sounds pretty intimidating, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna develop some mythology about how they fucking create statues out of their victims. <laughs> Somehow turn them into stone with their foul necromancies. Okay, I gotta go now. Bye.